Bada bing, bada boom, it's me, Fiona. Welcome back to another episode of the Fee on the Truly Imagination Entertainment Channel. As you know, my name's Fiona and I make food sometimes. And today we have a doozy for you guys because, as I said, we've kind of been doing a lot of baking stuff and I wanted to do something a little bit more not baking. Like FN Firework. So Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a full-on meal. I'm going to be cooking schnitzel. Specifically pork schnitzel, as you can see by our lovely pork right here. But not only am I going to be showing you how to make schnitzel, oh no, 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 no. I've got a full-on recipe plan. We're going to be doing the schnitzel, but we're also going to be making German spatzel, which is a kind of like very hard to describe. It's, it's a flour mixed, flour, salt, milk, and egg mixture. Um, they're kind of small, kind of like little nuggets in a way. It's really, really good. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to prep the green beans, how to prep the gravy. We're doing all of it today on the Truly Imagination Entertainment Channel. So, to begin, we are going to start with our German spatzel because the schnitzel cooks fast, and I have to do the other stuff that cooks longer. It takes about five minutes, cook time 10 minutes, 15 minutes total time. Stuff we need. A spatzel maker. Yes, we bought this because we eat a lot of schnitzel, specifically because I've learned how to do this in high school. We're also going to need milk, salt, eggs, and flour. <laughs> I'm sure you're all very familiar with my big flower jar. By now. All right. Anyway, so we are going to start off with our flour and our salt. What I like to do is I like to, I like to dust off the flour, off of the, what's it, but not my point. What I like to do is I like to add the flour, then add the salt, and then whisk it together. I'm actually gonna get an apron so I don't ruin my dress. This is a really nice dress. Okay. So, we are going to start with our flour. We need four cups of all purpose flour. So, I'm going to get a measuring cup. Now, we are going to 
going to add our three quarters of a cup of milk.
and where we just want to push it over so it falls in. Like that. And then what you want to do is you want to wait for it to all turn up. All right, that's the last of our spatzel. All right, green beans. Just gonna turn you over here and look down, green beans, delicious. gravy and we're not going to start that until we're pretty much almost done our schnitzel. This is our schnitzel right here. These are our eggs. These are our breadcrumbs. We also need this big boy. Basically how you do this, it's a triage, kind of like a, like a lineup, like a lineup of line cooks. What you do is you get flour, you put it here. a big old clump of it. Right there. There we go. Oh. Then we're going to take our breadcrumbs, dump them right here. There we go. Breadcrumbs. Then we're going to get an egg. Maybe two eggs. Actually no. I'll start with one and then I'll just Okay, now we're gonna eat two eggs. Okay, you know I cut things out, right? It does you don't really need to do that. You don't need to fucking walk around like you're the fucking hamburger. <laughs> You deep fry in oil. So we're gonna fill this up to a certain amount. Do -do 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 -do. We're doing it kind of a lot. That's okay. You kind of want a lot of oil because you basically have to just deep fry these into this thing. And the one thing you do have to make sure 
your oil is going to evaporate. It's going to get really breadcrummy. You are going to have to switch out your oil every couple of schnitzels. Just letting you know now. I'm going to be doing that, but I'm going to cut it out because it's unneeded content. But when you do, you take it, you dump any excess oil and breadcrumbs into the compost, and then you wash it out, you put more oil in, you rinse repeat. I'm just letting you know that now. So we're gonna let the oil heat up on high. And the way we test it is we have our tiny schnitzel tester. So we're gonna leave that there. But basically we have our schnitzel, we're gonna put it into the flour, then into the eggs, into the breadcrumbs, and into the pan. After that, we're going to put it on this and we're going to put it in the oven in order to keep it warm as we cook our schnitzels. That's about all I have to say. And then we're also going to put our oil down on medium while we're frying them. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I've never seen oil do that! I'm only mildly disturbed! Our schnitzel is screaming in pain because we're deep frying it. Now let's check this boy. He still needs to cook, but shut up. I'm going to get my green bean pot ready because we're gonna start steaming our green beans. Shut up! We're gonna put the green. 
green beans in here. And then we're going to put this back on it. And then we have to figure out which one. There it is. And then we're going to set that to high. And then we're going to move that away so it doesn't catch fire. And then we're finally going to put this guy over. And he's still not cooked. And we're also going to check on this guy. He's cooked. So now we're just going to let the green beans steam. But we do have one more schnitzel that we need to do. He's very thick. Need to be a bit thinner. There we go. There we go. We're gonna put this in the eggs. We're gonna kind of move this around because we're running out of eggs. Yay! Yay! Okay. Now we put it in this. Put this in the egg, and then we put this in. That's our final schnitzel. Now, add that one. Jesus Christ, the killer sauce might faster when you're trying to cook. Anyway, as I was saying before, I got interrupted by myself. Ah. Uh, we're going to be making our gravy, which is made with these mushroom gravy packets. And the way you make them is you take two cups of water, one for each packet of gravy, those two cups of water, you're going to pour it in to this. There's a bean in there. Well, now there's going to be a bean in our gravy, and I don't know. Really Stop screaming at me! We're gonna, we're gonna turn this down because it's mad. Or we're gonna turn it up, I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing half the time. I'm just kind of existing. <laughs> There's someone watching me. <laughs> She's very bad at sign language. You ding it. Anyway, not important. What is important is we're gonna put the gravy in the water, but we also have to whisk it. And also, for some reason, they've really locked up these gravies like fucking Fort Knox. Shizzle, shizzle. Mmm, smells like gravy. What else would it smell like? You know what else would be great is if we had a goddamn whip. But we don't. Where's the other one? There it is. We're using this one. I can't find another one. This is what we do on the cooking channel. We reuse, recycle, reduce. And you flip over. Oh my gosh. Work with it. Get us. Finally turn off the scary, screamy oil. We're gonna bring this over here because I like having things close to me. I also want to try and take this oh. bean out. What? What happened? Supposed to be absorbed by that. But it wasn't, so fuck you. Anyway, we're gonna put our gravy in the lift and then we're gonna whisk it. Mushroom gravy in. 
enjoyed this episode of food with fee on the truly imagination entertainment channel if you want to see more of me and my food uh you can check out any of the other videos on, my, on truly imagination entertainment i have a playlist of all of my videos that i've done so far as well as a my most my other my previous video that i did before this will pop up on the on screen at the end anyway if you enjoyed my content please like and subscribe to truly imagination entertainment I will see you guys all again next time. Bye-bye.